the internet is ablaze if you've been on the internet. Um, unfortunately, I am there, and it sucks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, could this be Storm? I think we have one picture of her Uncanny X-Force costume that also has the kind of, you know, the white X is like it's making close. it seem like that, that stripe. <laughs> The break room. I'm Evan, one of the producers, and joining me today is Jordan Morris. Hi, I'm joining you. <laughs> and Chloe John. He's done it, he's joined. We're here, we're excited. <laughs> it's the Marvels week. Yeah, it's the week of the Marvels and the Loki finale, and you know, it's gonna be hard to uh, win till Thursday. I'm pretty excited for both of these things. And yeah. Dancing with the Stars, Motown Night. <laughs> Big I know conference. Motown Night was a couple weeks ago. It's just the one I thought of off the dome. How'd Shochi do? Speaking of Marvel. She's doing great. Yeah. Oh, She's nice. killing it. Uh, Sochi Gomez. Uh, the enthusiasm of, of the legitimate. MCU. I was like, she may know. Yeah, she's doing great. She's doing really good. good. As so is right. Jason Mraz. Jason Mraz oh, killing it out there. <laughs> I found a picture of me being like a uh, discount Jason Mraz for Halloween in high school. Oh, I respect yeah. Respect that, Mr. A to Z era. Yeah. Yes. How, how, in what way were you discount? I think I you only had one flip flop on. Yeah, yeah. I like had a shirt that was maybe like you could see was wearing it, and it was a, it was a tiny guitar, not a ukulele. Oh, that's it's why a you're tiny discount. Guitar. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you guys. Uh, a mini screen. guitar and a ukulele, big difference. So yeah. you get, then you get full <laughs> on Walmarted. I'll never forget uh, walking into school with a tiny guitar, my band teacher looking at me and just laughing. He just like he he thought it was the funniest thing. Ever. Guitar's too small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's truly uh, small. Um, all right, kick rocks. But Get speaking out of, here of uh, you guitar. know the Marvels week, yeah. we got one final trailer for the Marvels last night. Super intriguing. There's obviously a, a big question around it. Who's that cameo they're teasing? Right. Because we thought we knew who it was, and then they showed us a big cameo. Um, we'll watch the trailer. We'll talk about it, and we'll kind of theorize who's gonna be who's in the Marvels. Um, and yeah, we'll also talk about how you know this movie's been marketed and watch some of the old trailers as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll get into it. Uh, but before we do that, hey, check out nerdride.shop. Nerd Ride shirt, TVA guidebook. I also like this blue, the blue to orange looks really good. So They're check on it out. opposite ends of the color wheel, blue and orange. Yeah. So that's why they create a pleasing... That's right. Michael yeah. Bay poster. Yes, there yeah. you go. Pleasing Michael Bay poster. Yeah. Hey, Michael <laughs> Bay, if you're watching, buy this shirt. <laughs> um, and also, you know, Check out the Florkin shirt, which I think we have a graphic for. I think Koi, you, you I do with two of those. Yeah, Koi. Nice. Uh, in fairness, I get one of my little sister, right, but yes. it was also the first time I've ever been like, hey, new rock star, my little sister loves a good Florkin. Uh, she is a, a diehard cat fan, and it's a 3D shirt, so that's how I get her into Marvel. She doesn't mm. care about Marvel at all. I think it's like a rule in a family. If one cares as much as I do, the other ones don't. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, but cats. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the, the cat shirt bribed her, and now she's going to see the movie, so that the, I appreciate the shirt, because it got one more ticket sold. Yeah, and honestly, like people seem to really love the shirt, because before we even started plugging on the break room like officially yeah i think uh you know they saw you with the shirt that one friday stream and people just found the link it's and they were like let's too. buy the let's i like it. that it's through the body of the person wearing it. yeah <laughs> i enjoy yeah. that the, it's it's got cat butts in the and back, yes so and it lives through you and the shirt will bite you if you pet it wrong. yeah you gotta be polite to the floor <laughs> plus uh all the puns we've come up with proud of them oh yeah 100 percent um so yeah check out nerdride.shop for all the latest loki merch and it's the best way to support the channel all right, should we watch this trailer? Yeah, let's, let's watch do it. This let's watch the trailer. Put your AirPods in. Spoilers for the trailer. Oh yeah, hey, if you don't, <laughs> if you were trying to avoid this trailer, folks. It'd be weird if they were watching this but didn't want didn't to watch, watch the, the trailer. trailer. Like, I'm gonna click this link though. <laughs> wow, all these people are in the movie. What a crazy <laughs> setup! Dude, Robert Downey Jr. He came back. He came back he for came this. Back. The internet said he was willing. It must be true. I love this filter they have on things to make it look like a, uh, a Showtime softcore porn movie. Oh yeah, oh, Skinamax's Thanos. <laughs> so this is the clearest shot we've seen of the villain so far, yeah. I believe. So that's R Ronan the Accuser's hammer she has, right? That's yes. the, okay. And yeah. this is the most plot we've really gotten, uh, you know, Wild. spelled out for us. Yeah. Now, a hole in space seems to tie pretty directly into a lot of stuff we're dealing with in Loki. Yeah. And a whack, kind of a wacky cut there. It's like a hole in space. She says something else after that. Definitely. Yeah. She's yeah. That That's definitely one cut. of those misleads. I know. I wonder what. Yeah. I'm also intrigued by that element. Like, is she from another dimension? Is that why her powers make her stronger? Or is yeah. it a Captain Marvel 
just in general power set thing. Also, something I'm always kind of into: someone dragging a weapon on the ground. Oh, yeah, I love nice. shots like that. Oh, these all, are all the Nick Fury stuff intrigues me too. Especially, if oh, I like this coming up. I like throwing the plane. Oh yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's, that's classic Captain Marvel. That's yeah. such a Carol Danvers move. Oh, the sound editing when she screams Monica is so bad too. Yeah, that's clearly an, an ADR. Valkyrie, yeah, nice surprise. Surprise. dressed like both men bangles, in black. Both bangles, too. Ooh, good yeah. catch. I didn't catch that. Oh, who is it? Who is it? What's her shirt there? Her shirt is like a... Marvel shirt. Yeah. I think I might have that shirt. Ooh. All right. So that's, yeah. uh, that's the trailer, folks. Um, oh, wow. Hey. We're doing this live on Twitch. Hey, for the YouTube folks, I don't think I got to that part of the script. We do these live on Twitch. Uh, thanks for everyone giving out gift subs today. Kobe Wan Kenobi, H Pass with 13, Christian Unpronounceable, uh, Nerf Girl Gene, and a AD Beals. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for giving out gift subs. But, talking about this trailer. Yeah, so we get Valkyrie, which is pretty mm -hmm. wild. Like, I yeah. think. Because there was a, there, in a previous trailer, we saw, like, the Bifrost, right? Yes. And so we're like, yeah. what? Yeah, uh, how does that tie in? Yeah, what is yeah. that going to mean? Yeah. That, to me, feels like tracking numbers are low. Uh, yeah. the, Valkyrie, the Valkyrie reveal is a bummer for me because that would have been a great pop in the theater. Yeah, I know. Uh, it it's such a bummer when, when these things It's real reactionary yeah. to me. Right. This, actually, this whole trailer, I mean, you guys know I love me some marketing and I love me some Marvel. But mm -hmm. I do feel like this is one of the trailers that, for a final trailer, feels more reactionary than yeah. uh, presentational. It's like very feels, like action focused, you know. It's it, like kind of seconds of Avengers. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. It's yeah. a two minute frame. <laughs> a sixth of it. Sure. Is a and and uh, normally I'd like that if it was, um, say, like flashes of Captain Marvel or clashes of uh, Secret Invasion, my tie in. But they don't feel like they're tied into this movie. Sure. They feel like they're like remember. Remember these other you movies? Love you like? us. Yeah. <laughs> and just show some uh, clips from Elf and Gladiator yeah, and, and other movies like, people kind of like. It yeah, could yeah. be when Nicole Kidman is watching. At the AMC. Oh my god. Like, it's heartbreak <laughs> yes. feels a little better, better in a galaxy like this. <laughs> but I, I do like what it sets up sentimentally. I do like some of the dialogue in the trailer. I yeah. do yeah, think sure. the like dimensions colliding and everything changes. What's the the phrasing is like everything led to this, some fast and furious oh, yeah. thing. Yeah, I like uh, this. <laughs> everything leads to family. All roads lead to family. Yeah, yeah, they here said. for the moment that changes everything. <laughs> just Paul Walker yeah. in the Which, montage. Yeah, just, <laughs> but I do think that's trying to get us to allude to what may occur in this, which sure. I've been saying on our Loki coverage, mm -hmm. I do think interdimensional failure and timeline failure could lead to certain characters coming into the Marvel Universe. And I yeah. know that we wanted that with yeah. Multiverse of Madness, and we kind of got it, and I know that Deadpool seems to be dealing with it, but between the era of Loki and Deadpool 3 is this movie. Mm -hmm. So, with our first mutant in the MCU, it does seem totally appropriate to include some X-Men. So, if everything yeah. led to this, if everything, you have to see the moment, that is what I think the marketing is trying to get us to think. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's what's going to happen. Well, Jordan and I were talking about this a little bit before the stream. It, you know, there's obviously this, like, reality, like, incursion or something like that happening. She tore it. You know, there's a different, there's a line in one of the trailers. Like, there's a different world merging into ours. If we do get the X-Men, are we getting the X-Men that we know, the Fox X-Men? Because we saw Patrick Stewart, you know, right. Charles Xavier. Is that meant to be, like, the kind of same, like cast of characters that we're going to be getting I don't in think they'd introduce the new X-Men in this. Okay. I don't, I don't yeah. think they'd introduce a new cast in this. Mm -hmm. I think I think all roads lead to Secret Wars, and I think that if we have X-Men, which is still unlikely to me, but if we have X-Men, it's going to be, hey, we're seeing these worlds collide. Right before this, you know, right, right after this, we get Deadpool, which I think is going to be ending the Fox universe. Yeah. I, it seems like Sony's going to be folding in as well. I think they need to use a few movies to set up the concept of what Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars are going to be. Mm -hmm. But I think those movies are going to end with our new reign of X-Men and Fantastic Four. God, but I don't yeah. think you'd do anything with them this early in the game, because that's three years away. Yeah. If things go well. Right. If, if <laughs> AI does not take the ghouls from their graves and they can repopulate... <laughs> It's true. Otherwise, uh, Tom Holland's playing Spider-Man for 600 years. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, a lot of like rumor leak type things about like who it's gonna be. Yeah. Uh, I've heard a lot of people for a long time. I feel like we've been hearing Kelsey Grammer, but I think like uh, just some new info that came out today. He's not playing Beast. He is playing Frasier. Oh, <laughs> that's how they're setting up the new show. Yes. It's a really long game. Right. The new show. Yes. Yeah. Carol, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, oh, I and Niles is back. If he sends the jingle on the way in, I'm in. I'm oh happy. yeah, I'm yeah, sure. I'm all yeah. about it. But I, I do think it's an interesting. Is anyone hungry for some tossed salad what is it? and uh, scrambled eggs? The, oh yeah, the scr- what's the last line? It's like. Fraser has left the building. <laughs> I think I think I have barbecue. I love sauce you, Seattle. Hands, it's, it's definitely not that. Is there oh something about gosh. eggs in the tagline? Maybe I don't know what to do with those tossed salads. That's what try. it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. My marbles. was that too expensive for me to sing that? <laughs> <laughs> How much did that cost Let's, for me to sing the sorry, Fraser? We haven't got ask. <laughs> we haven't gotten demonetized for singing "Kiss from a Rose," so <laughs> we're okay now. <laughs> but we're pushing it. We're Seal pushing doesn't it. watch yet. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Seal is on the building. <laughs> <laughs> the Seal Team Six. They're here they're, to stop they, us. They, yeah. Um, all right, so obviously, we, you know, we were talking a little bit before about Valkyrie. Yeah. There's this other big cameo that seems like it's being teased. So clearly, we got a shot of Valkyrie in the f- trailer. But who's the figure that Monica is looking at? So we want to show that first picture. Um, so this is the figure. This is like after this person has gotten up who is sitting next to her. Mm-hmm. Um, and are they different from the person who comes in like the Bifrost, which we can see in the next picture here. Can I sing the minute work hit, who can it be now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How much will that cost? Um, I was saying earlier, I was like, is that Mega Man? Because the boots yes. are so <laughs> oh, yeah. good. Yeah. A cameo no one saw coming. Yeah. <laughs> And he said, it's bustin' time, yeah. or whatever he says. Does Mega Man say it's... You're thinking of bustin' makes me feel good. Yeah, I was. I, was. Feel I think good. it's got a buster, that's he, why. Right, you know, yeah, that's sure. what, Yeah, I, I think don't talks. think that's Valkyrie and the Bifrost, because it looks like she's wearing a suit, and that does not yeah. look like the outline of a suit. But isn't she wearing kind of a... Oh, I, <laughs> like I know. Right, you're, like you're saying yeah. she's not wearing it in the Bifrost. I exactly. It, it doesn't look sure. like that men in black outfit she has on. Sure. Yeah. So let's talk about some possible people that we think it could be. Um, one of the things that John, uh, producer John had said uh, to me, or when this trailer came out last night, he's like, what if it's a, a, a variant of Monica Rambeau? So what if this is some, you know, Monica's like looking at a version of herself who's possibly taken on some of the, you know, hero personas that she has taken on in the comics. So mm-hmm. she's been with all the same powers, right? But she's been Photon, she's been, or she is Photon now. Yeah. She's been Spectrum. Which seems like more logical from her powers in the, like with WandaVision, she literally goes through the Spectrum of yes. it. It just feels like a Spectrum move. Yeah, yeah, so. Or she's also been Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. I, I think if it's any of them, it'd, it'd be interesting if she is like, hi, I'm Captain Marvel. Like it'd be yeah. interesting if she's, her universe is Captain Marvel, and that's you know one of the reasons they call this the Marvels. And am I, we know. Yeah. Am I am I maybe misremembering? Is there in Multiverse of Madness is her mom Captain Marvel? Yes. So is it yeah. something where her family line is Captain Marvel? Well, because we know oh. she's like you know Lieutenant Trouble. Like she 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 sure. knows Captain Marvel that way, and they, uh-huh. they referenced that in that one scene we saw. Mm-hmm. But it would be interesting if if that's her mom was one of my 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 thoughts was like maybe right. it's her mom, not her. Sure. Mm. But if it is her, I would. Be, it'd be interesting if she was under the moniker of Captain Marvel while our Captain Marvel is going by Photon. Right. Yeah, yeah. And maybe is, you know, we're, we're perhaps colliding with another world. Mm-hmm. Could that other world be 838 that we saw in Multiverse of Madness? Right. So then a world where you have Charles Xavier. Right. Uh, who maybe is dead? <laughs> we believe no. Who knows? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, who knows kind of, of when? Kind. Yeah, sure. So, you know, is there a world where, you know, uh, on that 838 where she is now mm-hmm. Captain Marvel after her mom got killed by Wanda. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Plausible. I don't know, plausible, yeah. But that's a lot of backstory in potentially a, a scene. Sure. I don't think they'll be able to delve too long into it. One, because the runtime of the movie. The characters just sit down and watch There's Multiverse like, oh, of Madness. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember this movie, yeah. <laughs> but I do think we're going to have to, you know, the movie looks very frenetically paced, so I can't imagine there'd be a lot of, like, backstory exposition. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just sure. from the trailer right. shots we've seen and all three it's, trailers. And it's an hour and 45 minutes, it too, moves. right? By the way, yeah, very, I mean, I'm a cat weirdo, so I'm excited for the cats. I'm yep. excited for the runtime. Same. And, uh, yeah, I thought, the, I th- this trailer clearly was, like, trying to say, like, there's a lot of action in this movie. Yeah. I thought the action looked cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, this kind of stoked me out more than the other trailers have. Well, I we, think I'm... We talked about the different tones of trailers. Sure. I think this tone feels the most like it's the balance of the other two. Sure. Like, that, mm-hmm. that first one was very much, like, the, you know, the, the, the wacky that, a lot of that it was pitched as. And then the second one was, like, action-y, but it felt like it was, like, we gotta show you a lot. This one was, like trying to give us a little exposition and action. So yeah. if this is the tone of the movie, I don't think it's going to feel as mis, you know, managed. You sure. know what I mean? Like I feel like this is a good wacky modern comic movie that moves the MCU along in general. Yeah. 
if they can land that tone, because I, I do yeah, worry about yeah. the, the speed of the film. <clears throat> my microphone broke. Oh, okay, gotcha. My floating microphone. I was just trying to like vamp for you in real time while you walked away. I was like, I got this. We'll no. talk about speed next. <laughs> no, you got it. You got it. Um, and uh, everybody anybody got a shampoo they like? Uh, sh yeah. uh, Marty's being <laughs> unwanted to <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I guess it could be, you know, of either a variant of Monica or a variant of her mom that's, uh, or and either of them having taken any of the hero names that we've seen. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think it would be, I mean, there's a quote from, I think, one of the producers, Mary Lovanos, who was saying that ever since the first uh, Captain Marvel movie, she's been like, this is gonna be a story about like an estranged family, about a family coming together. And you know, there's a lot of like, there's a huge lack of closure too between Monica and Maria because like she, you know, didn't get to see, you know, when she got blipped, she came back, right? Yeah. Her and she didn't get to see her, you know, say goodbye to her mom. And and Captain Marvel having a relationship with her mom and her. Yes. I'm interested in that dynamic. Like you knew my mom, what was she like? Like yeah, and, and yeah. now she has powers. So that'll mm -hmm. be interesting to tie in. Yeah, so I mean if she if the person in that picture is her mom, I think that will be like a pretty like emotional moment. Like something that I would help maybe like center this movie too that's coming out, you know, on the heels of Loki and mm -hmm. uh, which has been great, but also like a uh, maybe kind of rocky year for Marvel movies uh, overall. The Guardians was very strong in like the emotional um, area. Yeah, as yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> Dashiell, did we have the costume pictures? That's why. Oh yeah, I wanted to just show. That looks like it could be the yeah, same yeah, costume. Right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and that is a that is a if I'm. I mean, you probably know this better than I do. That is a like a variant cover promoting the Marvels, right? Right. So to me, that's like, well, that's in universe because yeah, like, yeah. sure. It's like whoever right whoever drew that cover probably, probably had got some access a to reference previous. photo. So yeah. To me, that's kind of like, well, that's the character, but what's that character gonna be moniker? Sure. Yeah. 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 Not a Monica pun. Not a <laughs> but someone Monica. else who has a very similar looking outfit is the character of Binary, which, um, Koi, we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Um, there's two versions of this character, right? Um, one is Carol Danvers like took the alias of this of binary, mm -hmm. as well as having created a binary as well. So recently in the Captain Marvel run of comics, not the current run which just started, but the one right before that ended uh, eight months ago now, time's mm -hmm. flat circle, I live in LA, there's no seasons, but the, the <laughs> one that ended the most recently, um, she died and it was a really beautiful storyline and it, it really dealt with Captain Marvel dealing with trauma and her trying to be less brusque, like, you know, Captain Marvel's tough, like Harold sure. Ambers is tough, she grew up, you know, in the East Coast and she's got all that, but like this, this is a, uh, Binary kind of gave her a soft side, like a nurturing sister, and it was really cool to see her balance that, like, I'm a captain, I've got all this responsibility and all this power, but I also need to nurture someone. So mm. that character dying in the comics really made her feel like, can I be open and available, or do I have to stay walls up brusque? So it was a really cool, like, examination of, like, therapy and, and processing. So it'd be interesting if Binary, even if they don't kill her, because that'd be weird if they're like, eh, hey, new character, but yeah. if, if they introduce her as a way to, like, open up the Carol Danvers character. Oh, because yeah. if you look at the, the theme of this movie, it's about, like, this bond, this sisterhood. Mm -hmm. We have a mom, Bellani, who's going to look to Carol Danvers. We We've got uh, Spectrum slash Photon slash Captain Marvel slash <laughs> is going to be looking to perhaps like want to be on a team or understand what it's like to have powers. Yeah. We've got these people looking at Carol, but how is Carol going to feel about suddenly being responsible for other people when she's been off in space on her own? And then you've got Nia DaCosta, who's directed very visually stunning films with lots of movement. I'm really curious how she brings that visual language to three characters who are all looking to find themselves in Carol right. and how Carol's going to handle that. So I think binary could be a really cool like mirror for Carol to go like, I need to open up, I need this availability. Yeah. Even if it's just for comic fans to go like, that's what she represented in a, sure. in a four year arc that we get 30 seconds of. It's kind of a gag in one of the early trailers is that Miss Marvel's like, we're a team. And uh, yeah. yeah, and Carol Danvers is like, we're not a team. Exactly. So I'm guessing by the end, she, she might want to family. Maybe we'll see <laughs> all value. roads led to this mess. All roads uh -huh. led to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and also, like, Koi, to your point, like, it would be interesting to see, like, if they don't use, like, a full, you know, physical manifestation of binary, if there are some, like, dream sequences I'm, or something where, you know, we see uh, Carol with, like, the kind of, like, uh, secret invasion, like, memory tech mm -hmm. thing, like, that's been an opening shot in trailers, if she's using that as a way to, like, talk to herself and, like, process these things, like, yeah. even if it's not in the real world, just something in her mind that's, like, 
ephemera of her powers or something. So interesting, you got Brie Larson. You know, I, I have been on record, and I'm so sorry, but like the first Captain Marvel is not my favorite Marvel movie. And, mm -hmm. and it's because I feel like they cast well, but then I feel like the directors, the writer, and, and Brie herself all saw her differently. Yes. Like I yeah. never felt like there was one cohesive Carol Danvers. Mm -hmm. And that caused a lot of people to, you know, yell on the internet and stuff. But I, I feel like no, having played the internet? they love no, women in strong think. female roles. But I, I think that with the time we've had with her playing this role, plus... What's this magical internet you're on? These people are... <laughs> message boards on Reddit are very loving. Uh, no, but I, I think that with her playing her a few times and with, like, Nita Costa taking over director and someone with, like, a unified vision, because Nita Costa is this diehard comic fan. Like, mm. she's been quietly pitching stuff to Kevin Feige with X-Men and stuff. Like, she's yeah. apparently no, I didn't being like, cool. please let me do this, this. She's like a ride or die comic fan, so That's great. I think her, mixed with the five years that Breeze played the character, I'm really excited to see the evolution of just Carol Danvers herself. Yeah. And I think with these two characters giving her a way to externalize that, we might see more of the Carol Danvers from the comic versus, I think that first movie was just like, hey, you're going to start in this movie between two of the biggest movies of all time. Yep. Go. Sure. And so I'm hopeful that, that we get Carol Danvers that feels like a fleshed out character here. Yeah. And also like the filming order of that, right? I think she had to do... Uh, Endgame first. before uh, Captain Marvel, which is wild, this is weird. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I am really excited to see w what will come of this like partnership and and how they, you know, what how this movie will then set up the future of this character. I mean, something that we touched upon, like reading that MCU, the Random Marvel Studios book, is that like. You know, Brie Larson, Chadwick Boseman, and Tom Holland, like on the set of Endgame, we're talking and they're like, oh, we're gonna be the next Avengers. Like, we're gonna do it. And then obviously, you know, Chadwick passed away. The stuff with the Sony um, deal has been like kind of weird. And then like the internet hated uh, Captain Marvel or hated Brie Larson. So it's interesting to see what, how they were going to now like pivot uh, in, in real time. We've been watching it, you know, the mm -hmm. last couple of movies as well. Well, it's also interesting how much the internet steers, you know? Yes, like, like yeah. this trailer is a great example of like damage control. We need to remind them they love us and also sure, show yeah. them up and I show them too much. And, and I think it is a tricky line because I think there is more, how do I phrase this nicely? I think there's more fan entitlement now yeah. than fan passion. Yes. I think there yeah. are more expectations than there are people want what they want, not what's a good story. And mm. I think Marvel has made stories that aren't as good because they're trying to cater to yeah. certain mm. groups. And I think that if they can get that that void, if they can go back to like, let's make it in the lab and then release it. Like if you mm -hmm. can like, yeah. that's why I'm excited for potentially lower budgets, potentially less content and yeah. like yeah. really let it cook and yeah. then go. And I think that this movie is probably the last of, you know, we know it's the last of the Chapek era, but I'm also hoping it's the last of them trying to make everyone happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they do, like, I forward. mean, they do like reshoot so much stuff. And I, I, I think what whatever this post credits thing we're getting is a reshoot. And mm. I think I've, it's, I think I've heard it is a fairly recent reshoot. So mm. it's like, whatever yeah. this is, is gonna be some wacko reaction to the comment section. Right, yeah. So yeah, it is, it, I, I hope it is something cool and not just a pander to make yeah. abusive internet assholes less abusive. Because like you what know? you were saying, the three of them, you know, obviously the, the tragedy of Chadwick, Chadwick gave us this beautiful film about loss. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, T Tom is a wonderful Spider-Man, but I feel like Brie is carrying the weight of this character even in other roles that yeah. she, like she can't escape the anger of yeah. the people. So like, you know, she said like, do people want me to keep playing this? And I feel for her. Yeah, and yeah. I'm hoping there's at least like, even the inevitable group of people that sure. won't enjoy this yeah. film. I'm hoping the people that go into it open-minded and want to enjoy it, there's something for her. Like, just Brie. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is interesting when you see a movie where you're like, this cast is right, but right. this movie isn't quite right. And I mm. think I've always felt that about Cavill. I think Cavill mm. could be like a great, and I've liked some of those mm. Snyder movies a mm. lot, but it does feel like he never got that great Superman yeah. movie. Yeah. Um, Garfield Spider-Man until No Way Home, man. God, yeah, you're yeah. so yeah, right. You're absolutely great. right. Yeah, because yeah. I do think Garfield has great moments, and there are great moments mm -hmm. in those amazing movies, Yeah. Um, but they never really fit together as movies. Right. Yeah. So yeah, maybe it is kind of a similar thing with happening with Brie Larson. I, and I hope because she gets she's, her No Way Home. Yeah, I know. When the, yeah. <laughs> right, she'll yeah. come back in a multiverse yeah, in 10 like, years. It's time to, like, the crowd goes this. crazy when Brie Larson pops in through the portal. I just want people to like, get their, their due. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I do think she could be a great Carol Danvers. And uh, I don't know, maybe this is the movie. Um, yeah. That'd be cool if yeah. it was. All right, last speculation. The internet is ablaze. If you've been on the internet, um, unfortunately, I am there, and it sucks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, could this be Storm? 
Uh, I think we have one picture of her Uncanny X Force costume that also has the kind of you know the white X is like it's making close. it seem like that that stripe. Um, but we've touched about this like we talked about this a little bit earlier in the episode. It would just be would it just be too much to introduce the X Men as like major players in this uh, in this movie? Well, speaking of giving people the yeah. do, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah. I was asking. I forget the name of the actor that played Storm. Alice in, there you go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I thought. And then, God, speaking of like a movie that has great moments, but like isn't quite there as a movie. X Men Apocalypse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it would be kind Both of great, man. Like I mean, Dark Phoenix was even more. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, uh, Dark uh, Phoenix is rough. Dark but, Phoenix like, is rough. Dark I feel Phoenix for is rough. her in both. Yeah. Of them. I feel like they... I know, and it's like she could have been a great Storm and had good moments in those well, movies. The most X Men but... shot we ever had was the last twenty seconds of the movie of them in costume, and then they cut away, and then yeah. we never saw them in those costumes yeah. again. Yeah. So I would love just to see them, and I would love the old cast to get to put on a costume, get little shining moments in this and in Deadpool. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then like, and then close that door. Sure. Yeah. I think Deadpool for sure. Oh, I think yeah. that's what the plot is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but 100%. I think that'd be cool to start that here. That's true. That's true. Yeah, some tease, whether it is post-credits or like, a, you know, a major a factor in if the If the plot. dimensions are colliding, and I'd yeah. rather have them appear in two movie cameos than one, and like, yeah. hey, they're now they're folded in, and then they get folded out in Deadpool. Like, now they're mm. in, and then because of incursions, Deadpool has to accidentally kill the Fox universe. I don't think it's going to be malicious. I think it's going to be the cable time turner causing him to have more access. That allows him to be in the MCU as an R-rated character. Yeah. That allows him to get bleeped in other universes because he's not directly from there. Yeah. He's actually from the Fox <laughs> oh, universe that's that gets gag. destroyed. He's the one yeah. that makes it through. But if he's the one that accidentally kills the universe that we get met in this movie, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so like a totally different universe that just like, or some universe that dies in in this movie being related to... X Men and Fox and all that. Yeah, just yeah. something we see that uh, just starts the idea of it. Yes. And that'll yeah. get people. I also think there is an awareness that Marvel has that the first Captain Marvel came out between the two biggest movies, and yes. therefore that movie got a big old boost. Mm -hmm. I think they might have gone like, well, if we want the sequel to do well, what boost is that going to have? Yeah. Maybe the X Men. Yeah, and also I wanted to bring this up earlier. I feel like now is a good time. Like, this, uh, you know, The Flash obviously had a lot of issues, uh, but one of the things that would have been really amazing about The Flash is if they had held any of the Michael Keaton stuff for, like, this time before the yeah. release. Right Ima before that surge. Yes. Imagine if, like, that was, we suddenly got that reveal, like, box office then would just like shoot oh, up yeah. you know if we didn't have months and months and months right of knowing, we're all like, kind of tired Super of it by Girl, the time the movie be, yeah, yeah the first yeah. teaser we're like well we've seen him like the yes. zhuzh was the teaser sure yes, like the exactly. first time you see keaton back in 20 years you're like and that's a year away yeah like, like, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just yeah. i can't stay hard that long i gotta call a doctor like I just, it's, not, it's not gonna work for me it's been more than four hours but this is I a gotta good take a shower let's order window. a pizza yeah, exactly yeah. i'm like i gotta cool this down but now is the time to get a chubby and dive in oh my god i think mean, this is an appropriate yeah. time. i don't want to break rooms in the that needs the term chubby. <laughs> <laughs> i do I, I i think i am personally a little bit bummed when those cameos don't influence the story where it mm -hmm. kind of feels like they're just pop-ins yeah how fucking great is spidey three when they uh far no wait what are the no, yeah, yeah, what are the subtitles? No way home is that one. No way home. <laughs> How great is the the fact that in Spidey Three you see them pop in through the porthole and yeah. then they affect the story. But they're Uncle yeah. Ben. Like they're not only like totally. affecting, but they give him his origin. And like, I know I said yeah. porthole instead of portal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drag me in the comments. Yeah. I don't know the difference between in a boat stuck and in an that four hour metaphor. In yeah. my head, I was like, are we gonna ADR? I'll have Jordan ADR it right, right <laughs> before we go. No, no, I caught it. Portal, portal, portal. I'll give you some options. Portal, portal. But I agree. That's the move. Yeah, it is so. And I think going back to those flash cameos, where it was great to see Keaton again, and he was great in it. But like. The, you see Nicolas Cage for two seconds, mm -hmm. and you see uh, Christopher Reeve for two seconds. It's like, yeah. all right, but I do want a story about these characters mm -hmm. interacting and helping each other and yeah. learning from each other. My and favorite you, moment in the whole Flash with Keaton was a tiny moment where he's fighting the Kryptonian because it shows what the tech from his world wouldn't do against Kryptonian, but yeah. it also establishes unconsciously the idea that Batman, if he didn't fear 
a, a Kryptonian would be screwed. Like, yeah. I love that it established, like, what if Bruce Wayne didn't have that innate fear of him that causes BDS? Sure. Like, Bruce Wayne fears this outside power, and then we see without that fear how he gets trounced. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's a really cool thing to have, like, subconsciously, like, if there wasn't a world where they were together, yeah. what that would look like. And that's, like, a story cameo. But it's not, like, yeah. so... Whereas, like, I could see, since she's the first mutant, we have a Mambalani as the first mutant. Mm-hmm. She's apparently 16 in this film, a pretty good age to get recruited into Xavier's school. I think yeah. it'd be a really interesting time to allow story elements to not only tie into this but also lead into Deadpool with more time to flesh out those whatever cameos we get because sure. they are going to end in Deadpool so why not start them here and this is all pipe dream but yeah, yeah 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 the movie's 145 minutes none of this might happen <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. I'm saying they held that X for a second I'm going to keep theorizing like they want me to oh uh, that's right yeah yeah have you seen the thing where in the soundtrack of the movie is music cues from the Fox X-Men movies yeah like they, soundtrack I, I don't know is it confirmed or is that a rumor Gosh, uh, and I—I uh, I forget which uh, whoever, whichever YouTube channel I watched this on. Uh, I apologize that I'm not citing you. I forget what it was, but I think with the program that is coming mm-hmm. out with the movie that people are seeing tonight, mm. Tuesday night, they list all the mm. music cues, and some of them are from those Fox X Men movies. I, anyway, I like the pipe dream. So like, it, it's funny because the internet always gets mad at me in particular because I always throw out the craziest theory. Like I like to go to Aladdin first, uh-huh. but that I never disappoint. Oh, you're not beating that. my Fraser thing. Oh yeah, no, no Fraser. Uh, uh, I think that's Fraser that's is in the movie. movie. <laughs> no, but I, I think it's it's more exciting because I'm not disappointed as long as the movie's good. Sure. If those moments don't happen, when I'm disappointed is when the movie's not good and those moments right. don't happen. Sure. But it's cool. Like right now is the last couple days until I see the movie. Yeah. So I have this ama- for my in here. I have 48 more hours of like what if and like yeah, i don't right. understand how people live on the internet going like i'm already hating it instead of going like man like you're right. you're never gonna yeah. see it again for the first time you're never gonna get to theorize again just like our loki doomsday stuff yeah you're yeah, never yeah. gonna get to go what happens in the finale again so like enjoy your enjoy life. it yeah, yeah yeah have fun <laughs> all right before we move on um final predictions for who you think that cameo is gonna be boy I think I talked myself into it being Storm. <laughs> I think it's Storm. Okay, I didn't before. I think I'm... Okay, so, so I think if you go to the screen, mm. and I think you see a little bit of cape. I think you see a little bit of a cape. And mm. I know some of these other characters have capes, but I think Storm is famous for having a cape. Mm-hmm. And maybe I think that the low stakes cameo that mm. we wouldn't have heard about, because we were hearing about... Crazies. Toby and Andrew <laughs> on the set of that movie for years. We, yeah, we yeah. all kind of knew it was going to yeah. happen. But maybe the, and please remind me the name of the actor who plays Storm in the Hi, Fox. Uh, or no, Alex Ship. Alex Ship. Mm-hmm. So I think she is under the radar enough to where mm-hmm. she could appear in the movie without, you That's know, true. setting yeah. off TMZ like crazy. Sure. Because um, this would have been pre-Barbie, and this yeah. would have been right after Tick, Tick, Boom. Sorry, I... I'm Alex a big fan. Yeah. She's great. She's, She's great. great. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite interviews ever done. Alex is like, the oh, coolest. okay, yeah. Yeah, we did a whole like hour in a comic store together, and she's like, a, she's a nerd and she's rad, and she adores Storm. Like, Alex is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. So yeah, maybe uh, maybe that's my guess. That's my official on record guess. Is going to be the Storm played by her, and you'll introduce the eight three eight X Men who might be mm. killed by death. <laughs> cool. Uh, my most logical for plot reason is going to be a variant of herself as another named character, like as Spectrum, as Captain Marvel. And that'll give her like a, a reality check on her powers and maybe introduce some interdimensional stuff with her. My second bet would be her mom, but like with powers and stuff. And then my tinfoil hat is Storm. I'm gonna go Halle Berry just so we've got a different one. That's, mm. that's fun. I would love that. Who, yeah. who wouldn't love that? Yeah. I think it's for me, it's gonna be, I, I'm gonna agree with you, Koi. I think it is a variant of herself. Mm-hmm. Um, and she'll be seeing like maybe and she'll be able to talk some of actually some of what you said with binary I think might come into play there if it is herself she'll be able to talk through some of the issues that she's had maybe how to like reform her relationship with Carol if she feels like mm-hmm. bitter about like how they've like, you know grown apart over the last few years stuff like that um, and also talk about her mom and like you know that have like some closure that way if mm-hmm. not getting to see her mom again um, that is like the satisfying yeah. story version, yeah, and that's that just the... like a cameo for Twitter, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be the good screenwriting. But the cut sure. is great because now we get to, they get their cake and eat it too. Like sure. it yes. could be a good narrative, yeah. or we can all go like, storm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, before we get to the rest of the trailers, I just want to thank this week's sponsor, Airscreen. 
hey, there's so much content to watch, and just the new Rockstars Universal channels alone is putting out hours and hours of videos a week, and that's before you flip on Disney Plus or Netflix. Not to mention, we all have jobs to do, overflowing inboxes, and Slack pings that don't stop. I mean, those Slack pings, they'll They'll freaking get you. Uh, <laughs> but what if I told you that you could have it all, watch more content while still getting all your work done? Our friends at Airscreen have come up with just a way to do both. Airscreen lets you seamlessly watch full screen video content while maintaining productivity by letting you see through the windows that you have open. So you get to adjust the transparency to get it just right for whatever you're doing, and all of a sudden you can fill out a spreadsheet or answer an email while still seeing the visual Easter egg that Eric's pointing out in the latest <laughs> Loki episode. You don't have to miss a big moment and you don't need to scramble to change tabs or minimize anything. I'm always like, you know, messing around with window sizes to get it all right. So with Airscreen, you can just, you know, watch it uh, at the same time while still working. Um, Airscreen has been in beta with early testers and is just now coming out to the public. They're partnering with us because they're fans of new rock stars and think Airscreen is really going to connect with our audience. So try it out and see if you like it just as much as we do. To download Airscreen, just head to airscreentv.com or click the link in the description. You'll get a 14 day free trial, no credit card info needed. And also we're putting up a live show, new rock stars. Um, is putting up a live show in Los Angeles at Brain Dead Studios on November 16th. That's next Thursday. That's crazy because we have no idea what we're getting. No, we know what we're gonna do. It's gonna be great. Uh, we Thursday's mid November. Yeah. I'm still there. The year's flying. Just the year is hurtling by. Wow. It seems like yesterday I was just scrambling, setting up cameras for our last live show. Are you saying next Thursday is a week until it's a month until Christmas? Sure. <laughs> oh, shit. 16 plus like 7 is 23. November 23 is a month until Christmas, roughly, if you had 48 hours. That means next week is a week until a month until Christmas. My brain's broken. It's like just yesterday we were saying, maybe Secret Invasion will be good. <laughs> <laughs> Man, dude, oh, so you're it's pretty good. Because it's almost St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the time this breaks oh, over, who oh, knows? No. Wow. Yeah. We have. Um. Oh wow. We have. Uh, I have a secret invasion thing. For the no, no, no. That's fine. I have a secret invasion <laughs> thing I want to get to. Anyways, hey, at the live show, we open the doors for dorks. Greet the geeks and nurture the nerds. Uh, Berg wrote that, you can yell at him. It'll be a night of trivia <laughs> games and a bunch of stuff that we can't do on YouTube because YouTube won't let us. Um, it's at an awesome old school heroin. single screen. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna shoot heroin at the show. Can't do it on YouTube. Can't do it on, can't YouTube. Do it on YouTube. YouTube. They'll YouTube. be monetized. Yeah. You won't be watching Train Spotting on YouTube. We're here live event. Uh, anyways, it'll be super fun. We'll have some cool merch. Eric will be there, Tom will be there. I will be there, but I'll be working, so don't talk to me. Do not talk to me. Do not make eye contact. Do not Don't make approach. eye contact. Don't do say you saw even... me on the break room one time not... and that I was really nervous. <laughs> because... Between Evan and his cub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hey, check it out. Description below. Link in the description below. Um, and yeah, get a ticket because it will sell out. Okay, let's move on. Dashiell, let's watch some of these trailers. Let's watch some of these old trailers. Maybe pick up on things that we haven't Ooh. seen before. This is a, a, a backdoor pilot to my favorite uh, version of the show called Trailer <laughs> Trawl, where we trawl the trailer for extra Easter eggs and stuff. And I don't know. Because now we have more context, so I'm curious. Yeah. All right. So let's see the first trailer. I think it released uh, in April, the first teaser. Uh, so whenever you're ready. Do they invasion? not say sword in the MCU? Have we not heard sword yet? Has it only been shield and saber? I think so far it's just been shield and saber. <laughs> I think they might be saving it for Polaris and X-Men. Mm, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think this shot is literally the first Disney Plus character in a trailer for a theatrical film, right? Oh, cool. Because Rainbow's oh, next. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So wouldn't she be the first? Yes, yeah, you're right. Wow. We haven't seen a lot of that guy. So that guy has his own trailer now where everyone's talking about how hot he is, right? Oh. In the, I think so. I think I've seen some... In universe or on... Um, in universe. Okay. In universe, <laughs> Well, yeah. I'm talking about it in the comments. Also on Twitter. But, yeah. I yeah. think have I seen... Yeah, it was some sort of pullout where it's a montage of that guy. It's like mm. introducing the prince and it's everyone kind of ogling him, which is, mm -hmm. is funny. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I guess I don't know who that character is. And I only I noticed he was him the because villain of that montage. until we met her. Yeah. Because this trailer is the first thing we saw. So this is the, all the exposure I had right. was mm, this. Yeah. And I think they showed this at D23. 
or something similar. Mm -hmm. and, okay, I, okay. and I think that I had originally thought he was the villain, and I'm assuming he still might be. But oh, I'm curious. Oh. Yeah, Who's I'm the seeing, hot prince? We want to know. I'm seeing in the chat Ellie Finelli saying that they showed this exact trailer at D23 last year. Oh, good. So, yeah, the, the prince is, um, I think, we, yeah, his name is Prince Yan, I think we found out. And he, there's like a very small comic precedent for this character, but basically it's like some version of like Carol having like an, an arranged marriage or like helping him out of an arranged marriage. Okay. But the only way to do that was to marry him. And so then when That's he became lot. king, he was like, no more arranged marriages. Mm -hmm. um, there was a trailer, it was so funny because John was trying to um, put together like a, a version of, uh, of all the trailers before. There's a trailer I saw this week that has a lot of clips of him talking. Mm. But I can't find it again. I was like, did they? Oh, did someone cool. drop it and then it got you know deleted or something? Might have been a TV spot that was supposed to come in after the movie. Yeah, that's true. But basically, he, I think, it seems like that Carol has to repair some type of relationship with him or like kind of like seal some deal. Maybe it is the marriage thing, just to get the support of his planet to like fight the Kree. But I don't know what the significance of that planet would be in fighting Darben's like mm. group of people. Um, I mean, that, that would explain the planet. That would explain that, like, you know, uh, Thor Ragnarok feel. Of yeah, the sure. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that, yeah. That energy. So that would, that would make some sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I forgot. You know, I, I feel like I watched that trailer a ton. And, uh, and now, hey. It was a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Let's move on to the next one. I guess this uh, trailer from July 20th. I like that movie thing where characters just say the name of whoever walked in. <laughs> It's for us. Be like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, if it isn't Evan, the producer <laughs> of the break room. Like, <laughs> that's not how you talk imagine how insane him. you would sound if that's how you greeted people. Oh, gosh. I like the architecture on this planet. I like all their... It yeah. looks like the Getty. It does look like the Getty. More inside LA location yeah. references for the audience. <laughs> local jokes get your local work. <laughs> or the Guggenheim, or which the is in New York. Or the Guggenheim, yep. Look at oh, they're all touching the thing. They're getting tangled up. That'll be a fun, like, Easter egg hunt to freeze on her room and go through all the art on her wall. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm curious yeah. which artist gets some love. Yeah, because it all seems to be, like, it's comics actually from art, the right? comics, yeah, or yeah. what I've seen. I can't That's guarantee cool. you, but, yeah. So we get an extended version of this scene in the newest trailer. Yes. Because we see her catch her. Yeah. So they're going with changes everything here. That's mm -hmm. not the first time we've seen that slogan, I guess. I guess I noticed it in the It was, it was the definitely more paced, trailer. like, bum, bum, bum. Yeah. yeah. It's a good shot, too, The I love a profile conversation. Ugh. Love all the cats. And I guess I only noticed this for the first time. It looks like there's kind of a dance sequence. Oh, yes. Is there some dancing? Well, there was a rumor this was like a musical for a while. Yeah. Was there? Yeah, and I remember the internet was up oh. and I think Do the it, planet. Marvel. Do it. You, please. I mean, I can't wait for Joker 2, the musical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going to be fun. I mean, you cast Walk the Line and, and Lady Gaga. I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah. I think the planet is supposed to be like a musical planet, potentially. So there oh, might really? be some, cool. some of that stuff. Do they create a death? Oh. They will. <laughs> I'm on board. I know that the internet at large would probably hate that. I am on board. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you want to have a musical planet, that's going to rule. I think this is the first time, too, that we get the mention that Cap uh, Dar Ben is calling uh, Carol Danvers the Annihilator. Yeah. Which is really interesting because we don't know what she's been up to in between sure. uh, Captain Marvel and Infinity War, or in Endgame, really, and then Endgame to now. Um, she's done some destroying, probably. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. She's been helping. You know, this could be a collateral damage thing. Yeah, so I'll be interested to see exactly kind of what Darben's like backstory is and what you know she's hoping to get out of this. And also, like again, like the bangle stuff is so interesting. Like if there's any link between the bangles and the Ten Rings, like to to bring Shang Chi back into this yeah. at least a little bit would be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, we haven't really heard from Shang Chi. Yeah, in any. there's been no. Teases or anything. Yeah, Simu Lu just got uh, surgery, right? Dude, he's a, he <laughs> he pulled his Achilles. He had, to get it, like, he had to like go under and get it like. Oh my god! Yeah, so, yeah. I was just saying, like, what, what a when you have this big of an interconnected universe, you really notice how like an injury can cause like. Whoa, like yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Um, I think. Oh, actually, uh, yeah. I was gonna say in the interest of time, we're gonna skip a few, but no. Let's watch this. So this is the longest oh, clip actually the from trailers. the movie. Let's see if we can find that hot prince montage let's find too. Huh? Yeah, let's yeah. Hope. Let's just go on Google. Uh, We'll, we'll treat this, I think, as the last one, since the new trailer from yesterday uh, showed a lot. So let's watch this fight clip, because this has been teased in the trailer so much. Oh, maybe I haven't seen this. This will be cool. Yeah, this is like really long. It's like a real one-to-one -one clip. 
This is a good gimmick. This swapping thing. This is cool. It's gonna be really fun. I know. I can't wait. <laughs> She's just so happy to see Nick Fury. That like punch she did looked very much like her comics. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think it's gonna be really fun to see the movie budget get to use her powers. Oh yeah, jeez, I know, right? Yeah, some wonky CGI on some of those Disney Plus shows. Oh, I mean, cool they do what they can. But this, you know, a feature film power set. Oh, I wonder. You know what I just noticed? I feel like an idiot. Um, when Kamala uses her powers, she she doesn't teleport. She doesn't. It doesn't like doesn't swap with somebody. Yeah. Right? But in that one clip, it did. When she's like, "Let me show you." Uh, yeah. So maybe it's just really it's inconsistent. Maybe <laughs> so whatever like, it's convenient it's for the plot. Power. Yeah, we need <laughs> this to happen. Because right. I was like, maybe is it every time Captain like Carol uses but her it seems powers? Like it's, it's not right. Or yeah. maybe a bangle can restrain it. Oh, interesting. Like maybe a bangle dampens it enough so they don't Yeah, know yeah. It. I don't know. Also, you mentioning Tune in Thursday. Thursday, <laughs> yeah. You mentioned also her Tune comic into powers. a cam video that you could probably download now. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell them. Uh, you mentioned her comic powers. Do you think in this movie we'd see, and you know, a lot is going on with the bangles. We know Dar Bang gets, uh, finds the other one, and, and the newest trailer showed that she had both. Do you think that she'll. Uh, Kamala will be able to use her powers without the bangle. She'll have her. She'll get her comic powers instead of having these powers augmented by. I don't this think they'll thing. ever give her the skin just because of how familiar it is to Mr. Mr. Finn. Sure, yeah. I, I just sure. felt like that was from the beginning. And, and yeah, in the, she's com- like in the comic, she's kind of a stretcher. Like, she stretches yeah, and she embiggens. embiggens. Uh, <laughs> and I think she, she might yeah. embiggen. She like, may embiggen. Yeah. She may, but I do There's feel like, to... and and because that doesn't look like giant man embiggening because it's the proportions are all weird. Sure. Yeah. Whereas like I do feel. Narratively, it'll look more like Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. And if she's going to go back and have a season two of a show, I do not want to see the body horror of the yeah. poorly done <laughs> Mr. Fantastic stretches. Yeah. There are some characters that shouldn't be on TV mm-hmm, because unless mm-hmm. you give it the budget that no one wants to give a show, yes. it will look awful and yeah. scary. So I think the powers, and she's cosmic. It suits the relationship with Captain Marvel more. Yeah. It yeah. suits her place in the universe more. Yeah. I know that people that are diehard were upset at first, but I think they got to the point where it was like, no, this makes sense. And, and like yeah, the it seems like the fits. character stayed the same. Like yeah. the, it, it, they they changed the powers, but it felt like everything you liked about that character in the comics transferred over. And the whole the show team from the well. comics loved it. Yeah, they were very yeah. public about like this works. So I, I think it's her power now. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey. Like you said, tune in Thursday. Tune in right? Thursday to find Thursday. out. Um, all right. Well, I think we'll be we showing the movie here. <laughs> yeah, we we love we're going to bring uh, the studio set up into a theater and we'll live stream <laughs> the movie. We're going to set up on back. Yeah. Catch one Canada. We'll set up a live stream. Right. Yeah. All right. Hey, that's it for us today. Make sure to subscribe to the Break Room channel on YouTube and give us a follow on Twitch where we do these live. Guys, do you want to plug anything? Plug your social, plug uh, something else. You find me at Koi Jandro, C-O-Y-J-A-N-D-R-E-A-U on TikTok, on Twitter, on Instagram, at your local comic store. And uh, I just brought back my favorite thing to do, which is long form interviews. And I sat down with my buddy Yuri, who is the voice of Spider-Man, Ben 10, Ooh, all sorts of stuff okay. from childhood. And we had a big long talk over at Real Reject. So I got a new show. That's the pilot. We're going to be doing more of those. Oh, Once nice. the actors get paid a living wage and AI reg- like regulations are established, got a bunch of people coming on that show very, very soon. But uh, it's over at Real Rejects. And I love being here. So I'd like to thank these guys for Happening. Yeah, Trips. thank you. Uh, yeah, speaking of plugs, I've been working on this one. Uh, I've got a graphic novel coming out next Dude, year that you can pre-order. Thank you. It is called Youth Group. It is a oh. YA horror comedy about goofy teenage exorcists. Whoa. Uh, the artist by Bowen McGurdy, who's work you might know from Marvel Comics. Mm. Uh, out next year, but you can pre-order it if you want to like get all the pre-order links and uh, see some art from the book. Uh, bit.ly slash youth group book. Nice. Bit.ly slash youth group book. And uh, yeah, and you can order it there or just wherever you get a book. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, your local bookstore. Congratulations. Thank you. Exciting. Oh, <laughs> it, yes, I, I, I got to proofread it the other day. I think it really turned out great. I'm excited for folks to see it. Youth group. It's good. Nice. Man, congrats. Hell yeah. All right, and you can follow us at Break Room NR on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or X, as Brandon likes to say. Hey, this um, is the X. Yeah. <laughs> X, <All right>. baby. <laughs> Gonna give it to you. Yep. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, man, didn't know <laughs> what he was summoning. Right. Um, <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Uh, we'll catch you later. See ya. Bye. Bye.